過嚟啊，過嚟啊嚇！誒唔好放喺度啊嚇，凍曬啦！點解你嘥曬時間啊？你知啊，我 Vincent 咧就係同 Peggy 結婚噶啦。Yeah, he mentioned it the other day. Congratulations. 梗係啦，到時間啦。阿 Peggy 咧就係想準備啲婚禮，咁佢又唔叫 Vincent， 我會揾人車佢。啊，咁你啊唔介意啦嘛？嚇 ？No problem at all, Mrs. Chu. 好，咁就好啦。啊，走走啦，唔該曬。我要多啲雞，你哋攞多啲雞俾我啊！嚇，咪企喺度傻瓜咁啊！ Hello, Wei. Thanks for driving me around. Yeah, no problem. So where are we going? The flower shop. I still have to pick the color I want. You won't believe how much work it is to get ready for a wedding. We've been planning for eight months now, and there's still so much to be done. I'm sure it'll be fine. Oh, it better be perfect. My wedding has to be perfect. So, Wei, do you have a girlfriend? <laughs> no. My life, it wouldn't be a good idea right now. Your life is why it'd be good. You have to have someone you can be soft with, too, Wei. It's very important. If you're hard all the time, one day you'll forget how to be soft. Then where will you be? <laughs> I do you say, say so. so. You are family now, Way. I have to look out for you, just like Winston. After the wedding, I'm gonna find someone for you. So how do you get on with Winston's mother? Uh, she's a handful, but you know her bark is worse than her bite. That I know. How about her meat cleaver? Ha. Huh. That's worse than her bark for sure. No, she used to scare me, but then one day, I was having a problem with Winston. He wasn't paying enough attention to me, too distracted with work. And Mrs. Chu gave him a big lecture in front of the whole gang. I thought she might use that cleaver on him. Ever since then, Winston's been an absolute doll. And even though she still yells a lot, I know her heart is in the right place. Well, you're lucky. My mother never liked my girlfriends. I guess it's hard for the moms. Well, I mean, you know, I used to have a thing for blondes too, and that drove her crazy. Bad enough if I went out with a Chinese American girl, but but a whitey? <laughs> well, it's good to know she was loyal to her people. No, she's loyal to her prejudices, more like. That too. Here we are. Ah, oh, so good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. I'm here to finalize the details of the flower arrangement. <laughs> yes, yes. I'm just the driver. I'm just gonna change back and then we'll be done. Uh, actually, there is one other thing. Black orchids. This probably sounds silly, but it was my mother's favorite flower, and now that she's gone, I was thinking that I'd love to have a black orchid centerpiece. I'm afraid that's impossible. <laughs> there are none to be found in Hong Kong. Really? Well, I thought they had some down at the Garden Temple. Well, yes, but they're not for sale. The other day, the CEO of Old Boy Trading wanted one for his daughter. He told them they offered Temple $100,000. They still say no. <laughs> it's incredible, no? <laughs> a black orchid at a wedding guarantees that the couple stays together for the rest of their lives. Oh, well, Wei, come on. We can go now.
All right. Next, we need to pick up the wedding cake. So you... Where are you going? Winston's in charge of that. He knows I'm very particular about cakes, but he promised I wouldn't be disappointed. I'm sure Winston will impress me. It's our wedding after all. <laughs> and your wedding has to be perfect. Now you're getting it. So your mother took you to the States? <sighs> yeah. You know, she loved Hong Kong, but she wanted to give me and my sister a change of scenery. Oh, were you being a bad little boy? <laughs> no, it, it was Mimi, my sister. Growing up in Old Prosperity, she you know, she started down a particular road and couldn't get off of it. And my mother hoped that moving to San Francisco would shake her up, change who she hung out with, you know? Did it? Yeah, for a while. But some habits die hard, you know? Some don't die at all. I'm sorry, Wei. Winston mentioned that she passed away. I didn't mean to bring it up. It's okay, Peggy. You know, it's good to remember where you came from and where you're going. Hey! Isn't that a van from the wedding cake company? Hang on! What are you doing? Uh, yeah, the guy, the guy had the wrong address. Winston asked me to make sure the cake is delivered. He's so thoughtful. Wait, slow down! <sighs> Peggy, if we don't catch that van, you won't have your special cake at your wedding. What? Faster, faster, go faster. Relax, I just want the cake. What? This is my cake! Mine! Look, I don't know what Dog Eyes is paying you, but it's not worth it for a wedding cake. I don't know no Dog Eyes! This is for my wedding! My wedding is going to be perfect, you hear? Perfect! You want this cake, you're going to have to cry for my dead fingers, you hear? Tell Winston I got the... Wow, that's great. I'll take it right to him. All done. Oh, thank you, Wei. Thank you. You know, I make... Look out! Uh -oh. <laughs> the wedding just won't be perfect without that kid. We're going to the temple, aren't we? I knew you'd understand. Oh my god! Do you have any family here at all? Uh, no, not anymore. Well, you're wrong, Way. You have family, you have us. Thanks. No, I mean it. I know Winston's work can be... rough, but it makes us a family, too. Yeah, I appreciate it. Van needs brothers, uncles, and sisters, too. To help me with that soft side. Don't laugh, it's very important. You know, I could probably set you up if you want. <laughs> You're a good looking man. <laughs> Thanks, but, but I'm not looking for anything serious right now. Yeah, I wouldn't want it to reflect poorly on you. Ah, uh, uh-huh. You're still playing around, huh? Well, let me know if you ever change your mind. I know some nice girls.
Wait here. I'll be right back. What are you doing here? <clears throat> when it when energy flows among flowers, we are all everywhere. I, I, I am here and not here. I um, love flowers. Ah, brother. So true, so true. You don't belong here. What is belonging, brother, when we're all part of the same cosmos? I guess failure is impossible. Hey, who are you? Well, who is anyone? when we are all each other, part of a single great organism that never dies. Ah, brother. So true, so true.
You got them? Oh, wait, thank you so much. How can I say no? Peggy, do you have any Winston's clothes in the back? <laughs> I don't think these robes are gonna make the right impression. What do you think about this? Yeah, sure. Thank you, Wei. Thank you. It was my pleasure. And if you're gonna be my sister, the least I can do is help out with your wedding. Your mother would be proud of you. I hope so. Sometimes I wonder. No, I can see it. Life isn't perfect, it never is. But you have a good heart. Peggy, I... Nope, I know, women's intuition. It's the same with Winston, he talks tough, but underneath he's a very caring man, that's why I love him. Thanks. That's... The secret. You do what you have to do, but you always remember your family. Remember the people who love you. Then you'll always be happy. What's it like in America? Uh, less crowded. I guess. Do you like it better here or there? In some ways, I was more comfortable there, but it wasn't home. It's important to have a home. But I'm not sure. No Hong Kong. Home is home. Thanks for being so helpful, Wei. I really appreciate it. Of course. It. Sometimes this wedding thing stresses me out. There's so much to get right, and you only get one try. Don't worry, Peggy. It's gonna be perfect. Oh, it's so nice to find someone you can really rely on. I can see why Winston likes you. <laughs>